Taking a look at the Grizzlies and T-Wolves, the rest of the series, we are focused on Game 5. Tuesday can be seen exclusively on TNT at 7.30 as we come back into Studio B. And listen, uh, this is what we like to see, that pivotal Game 5, two young teams that, that kind of know each other at this point, Rick. And, and what do you see happening in this pivotal Game 5? Well, what I see is that both teams have been playing hard, and next thing you know, it's going to be the adjustments. Are the referees going to call it differently? I don't know. But the thing is, the physicality of this game is always going to stand. And if you don't match the physicality of the other team, hey, this is what it's all about. Playoff time, bring your, bring your A game. Definitely bring your A game. Which team you feel like is going to bring their A game? Who has the momentum? Yeah, I like what Josh said. He felt like he, felt like he wasn't being Ja. So I think Ja's going to come out ultra aggressive. Maybe he's the one that goes to the line 17 or 18 times next game. I think Memphis gets the win. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Ja do his thing in the past. Last season, Utah, 47 points. So mm. he's capable of having those big games. We saw him drop 40 points a number of times in the regular season. As he mentioned, going into the paint, getting bumped a lot. Playoff basketball is a little bit different. So we'll see. Maybe he goes to the line a little bit more like he alluded to. We'll see if the refs make those calls. Yeah. Listen, I can't wait it. This is what we are here for, playoff basketball. We love it. Man, maybe. <laughs> This is great. Ain't nothing like it. They know all about playoff basketball. I just enjoy hanging out with these guys. Rick, Booz, I'm Ro Parrish. We will see you momentarily. And, of course, Jordan Daddy loves you. <laughs>